Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the one of the most important enhance, enhancement in files class. So, uh, uh, files class a method is called lines. It's a static method. So directly you can call by the like files dot line which accepts a path as an argument uh, that reads the all the lines from a file as a stream when you want to read files line by line using java io and perform some operation on lines uh, before moving ahead let me mention the file content which i will read in or uh, all in this example so here i have created a file data.txt i have kept in the project directory itself and these are the lines of Line, these are the lines available in this file so here we will perform some some search operation using files dot line now here you can see the lines so lines are just two overloaded method if you try to search lines then one method is text cat set itself so here you have option to specify the different cat set and second overloaded method is to accept only paths and this uses uh, this this internally calls the same method this method itself right overloaded method so here tad set is checking as a utf8 so if you know how to work on one method easily you can work on other another method so let's try to understand these things uh, so we have a class is called paths paths such a get method which accepts uri and here we have a file directly in our project directory itself so here i can specify data dot txt and this will return you path object itself now let's try with resources which is the one of the important enhancement in java 7 and here try with resources i'm going to apply so that uh, we don't require to uh, close resource explicitly so beside the try you can write uh, uh, files dot lines which access path as an argument and path already we have created over here and this this is going to return us if you look into the return type of this then this is gonna return us a stream of lines so let's copy and paste it in paste it over here okay now we have a stream now a stream of lines now a stream of lines here basically uh, i will read the lines as a, a stream and fetch each line one at a time and check if a particular word is present in this file or not then lines dot we have a method is called filter so sorry sorry we have a try and closing over here so lines lines dot filter and here we can apply a filter right so here predicate we can uh, supply as uh, as a lambda expression so i would say contains and here i will search for the line 15 right just looking for the line 15 and we'll try to find the first occurrence so i would say first occurrence and this will return us the uh, optional object optional of a string so let's say optional and here we can check if optional dot is present if that is present then we'll try to fetch so optional has a method is called get so this will if uh, if elements is getting returned then we can fetch by calling its get method and you can have a else part as well if no data found then print us simply no 
data found right so if i run it then we are getting line number 15 right this is line number 15 right if you say line 150 then this will tell you no data found right so i hope you understood so if your file size is too huge right so as you can see uh, files dot lines this returns you the is a stream of a stream right so if your files can say uh, can, uh, suppose if you are searching something in the log file right as we know that log files are basically too huge in that case of course you can use this api to search some particular line or a string right so that's the huge case of this uh, files dot line now second thing we are going to check if you want to test if the underlying file is closed or not then you can do it in this example as well so let's make another copy of this client program so this is client program 2 and we'll do some modification over here so here we are basically in drive log we have used files dot line and here itself you can check files dot line dot on close if underlying files is closed then we want to print something so so system dot out dot print l sorry so not system directly this does not take consumer but this takes runnable right uh, runnable is a marker interface which has a one method right so you will have to define a lambda for this so we can define lambda like this here we can say a file closed okay so this simple message we want to print when file gets closed right and here if you try to run then we are getting file closed right so as we have used uh, try with resources so basically try with when you use try, try with resources then underlying resource you don't need to close explicitly right this will close the underlying resource automatically right so if you go to the here the steam steam uh, i mean extend uh, uh, two more interfaces base steam as well as a stream right and here you can go to the base steam then finally this interface extends auto closable right so that's the reason if you use uh, try with resources then underlying resource will be closed automatically so i hope you enjoyed learning this video this code i'm going to upload on the github and github location i will specify in video description itself if you liked my video then please subscribe my youtube channel so that you'll get a notification about the new uploads and uh, thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial